Hey guys. It's me and my creep. Damn! Fuck. I wanna. I'm gonna buzz cut soon, so. You're gonna look at me with a completely different haircut. <laughs> I look so goofy right now. I have. A banana yogurt. Coconut. Banana coconut yogurt milk ice smoothie. It's pretty good. I diluted it just a bit though. I, just finished, I finished a hefty breakfast as well. But what I want to talk about today is. I'm looking bigger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to talk about today is Iman Gaji. No, Iman Gatsi. Gadzi. I, I, I heard him call himself Iman Gaji. Which I quite like as well. And. Because he. Mùi no. No, maybe. Maybe. He's looking quite guilty. I want to say about Iman Gaji. Iman Gaji is like a um, super successful multi millionaire. Serial entrepreneur, young man, 23 years old, and he lives a phenomenal life. Every, what the hell? Why is it? What the hell? Why did I have my berserk background? Anyways, I was watching his $100,000 safari in Zimbabwe video and one of the comments I really really liked and it really resonated with me is it's a crazy feeling I'm sitting here in my dark room my job in a few hours looking at how freely and fun Iman lives it shows me that how there exist two whole different realities while in the middle while the middle class only teach one it's only teach one one day I'll be as rich as Iman and me and my parents will get to live a life like this too inshallah one day all my sleep is going to pay off để mẹ có khách book mười hai giờ để không đi shopping được thì con đi cho mẹ nhá. Vâng ạ, mua mua cái gì? Mua con này. Ok. Mua hoa quả. Ok. Mua mango. Mango. Camera. I'm recording a video. Ah, ok. Đừng record nữa. Um. I already I already wrote a list, mẹ ơi. Let me send you the screenshot right now. I'm sending you screenshots. Look, sir, are you happy with that? And I, I, I draw a lot of parallels from Imangaji to myself, and a lot of my friends. Or the new friends that I made and some old friends as well. They're either like, oh, I'm on the Andrew Tate Sigma Male grind set, or I'm a lot like Imangaji. Because I'm a young business owner. My knuckles, bro. Super like Fortnite. Dude, this. Nah, no, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. My hair isn't going back. I just. Greasy. Nah, I'm doing bye. Oh, <laughs> uh, I finished eating this hair. <sighs> okay, I look goofy. I don't care. Look at my room. The wall. I think I'm really trying. I think I'm adding more stuff to the wall though. This cat's playing with something out of my bed. It's really annoying. It's quite inspiring to see Imangaji. It's quite inspiring. It's quite something to see someone so young and so rich. Like such a rich lifestyle. And like beautiful woman around. Like infinite money spending like whatever money he wants. Private jets, like the whole lot.
But I cannot possibly imagine myself living that lifestyle. I do want to go like. Vâng à, không sao. I do imagine a lifestyle of opulence. I do imagine a lifestyle of success. Where I can confidently say. Yeah, sure. Should I go Audi or should I go Tottenham Hill? What do you think? May I? Should I go Audi or Tottenham Hill? Alright. I just see his lifestyle of extreme opulence and beauty. And obviously it's inspiring. I was inspiring for the first few times, but now I'm just filled with jealousy. <laughs> It's crazy, like I, I, I put goals for myself like 10k a month, but it's like when you peer at the mountain for too long, you get overwhelmed by its sheer mass. I think that's um, another issue I felt so far with my own self improvement journey. The goal that I put for myself, 10k a month, it's so up there, it's so high. It's often difficult for me to like try to push towards it. Like if, if anything, instead of a motivator, it's a demotivator. And the psychology, the book Psychology of Sales really tapped into this, and Hamza was talking about this before as well in his newest video, The Monk Mode, where you need to set realistic goals for yourself that you can achieve like 500 a month, <clears throat> which I think I'll probably set as well. Even 500 is unbelievable to me, it's very, very weird. <sighs> it's a. Uh, no. 500 is nothing, but 500. To me, it's still like a lot of money, which is not good. I should be looking in the tens of thousands. That's completely foreign. Because anything like ten thousand thousand like, in terms of income, I'm like, whoa, what the hell? But in terms of life savings, like, yeah, sure, life savings. That's like for the rest of our life, which I still can't fathom as well. <laughs> Even though I say that. Iman Gaji saying one time <laughs> He said one time that he tried to make 15 grand a year And then he had to slowly level it up and he, like, he, he wished he aimed higher But then again, you can wish you aim, to aim higher as much as you want the reality is you probably wouldn't have aimed higher You would have probably got lower <laughs> Where's my tissue? It's a heavy topic. I do want monetary fiscal success. I do want to have that lifestyle of opulence. He said it before in his first, second book. He's like, in my lifestyle, Mike's seeing incredibly opulent with the beautiful woman and. The, far, the fast life, the private jets, and all the money, and experience, and the fun. But, like, he's being, he's used to this shit right now. Only now he's vlogging it, though. To me, it's like... To me, it's like... Whoa. That guy's been living a completely different reality for me for years of his life. And with the introduction of YouTube, I can peer into it, I can tap into it, I can take a peek, I can take a gander on how he lives, and it's quite jealousy mongering. A lot of people would say fear mongering, I think jealousy mongering, because that's exactly what it is. I'm so jealous. Okay, the next video, bye-bye, bye-bye. I don't know what to say.